The Phantom of the Opera is a musical with music by Andrew Lloyd Webber and lyrics by Charles Hart with additions from Richard Stilgo. Lloyd Webber and Stilgo also wrote the musical's book together. Based on the French novel Le Fantôme de l'Opera copyright Ra by Gaston Leroux, its central plot revolves around a beautiful soprano, Christine Dar copyright, who becomes the obsession of a mysterious, disfigured musical genius. The musical opened in London's West End in 1986, and on Broadway in 1988. It won the 1986 Olivier Award and the 1988 Tony Award for Best Musical, and Michael Crawford won the Olivier and Tony Awards for Best Actor in a Musical. It is the longest-running show in Broadway history by a wide margin, and celebrated its 10,000th Broadway performance on February 11, 2012, the first production ever to do so. It is the second longest running West End musical, after Les Miser copyright Rables, and the third longest running West End show overall, after The Mouse Trap. With total estimated worldwide gross receipts of over $5.6 billion and total Broadway gross of $845 million US dollars, Phantom is the most financially successful entertainment event to date. By 2011 it had been seen by over 130 million people in 145 cities in 27 countries, and continues to play in both London and New York. Development, Idea In 1984 Lloyd Webber contacted Cameron McIntosh, the co-producer of Cats and Song and Dance, to propose a new musical. He was aiming for a romantic piece, and suggested Gaston LaRue's book The Phantom of the Opera as a basis. They screened both the 1925 Lon Chaney and the 1943 Claude Rains motion picture versions, but neither saw an effective way to make the leap from film to stage. Later, in New York, Lloyd Webber found a second-hand copy of the original, long out-of-print LaRue novel, which supplied the necessary inspiration to develop a musical. I was actually writing something else at the time, and I realized that the reason I was hung up was because I was trying to write a major romantic story, and I had been trying to do that ever since I started my career. Then with The Phantom, it was there. Lyricists, Lloyd Webber first approached Jim Stinman to write the lyrics because of his dark obsessive side, but he declined in order to fulfill his commitments on a Bonnie Tyler album. Alan J. Lena was then recruited, but he became seriously ill after joining the project and was forced to withdraw. None of his contributions are credited in the show. Richard Stilgo, the lyricist for Starlight Express, wrote most of the original lyrics for the production. Charles Hart, a young and then relatively unknown lyricist, later rewrote many of the lyrics, along with original lyrics for Think of Me. Some of Stilgo's original contributions are still present in the final version, however. Score Inspired in part by an earlier musical version of the same story by Ken Hill, Lloyd Webber's score is sometimes operatic in style but maintains the form and structure of a musical throughout. The full-fledged operatic passages are reserved principally for subsidiary characters such as Andre and Fermin, Carlotta, and Pangy. They are also used to provide the content of the fictional operas that are taking place within the show itself, viz, Hannibal, Il Muto, and the Phantom's masterwork, Don Juan Triumphant. Here, Lloyd Webber pastiched various styles from the grand operas of Mabé through to Mozart and even Gilbert and Sullivan. These pieces are often presented as musical fragments, interrupted by dialogue or action sequences in order to clearly define their musical's show within a show format. The musical extracts from the Phantom's opera, Don Juan Triumphant, during the latter stages of the show, are dissonant and modern Euro suggesting, perhaps, that the Phantom is ahead of his time artistically. Design, direction, and choreography, Maria Bja Paragraph RNSON designed the sets and over 200 costumes, including the elaborate gowns in the masquerade sequence. Her set designs, including the chandelier, subterranean gondola, and sweeping staircase, earned her multiple awards. Hal Prince, director of Cabaret, Condide, Follies, and Lloyd Webber's Evita directed the production, while Gillian Lynn, associate director and choreographer of Cats, provided the integral musical staging and choreography. First preview at Sidmonton, a preview of the first act was staged at Sidmonton in 1985, starring Combe Wilkinson as the Phantom, 
Sarah Brightman as Kristen and Clive Carter as Raoul. This very preliminary production used Richard Stilgo's original unaltered lyrics, and many songs sported names that were later changed, such as, What Has Time Done to Me, and Papers. The Phantom's original mask covered the entire face and remained in place throughout the performance, obscuring the actor's vision and muffling his voice. Japaragraph RNSON designed the now iconic half mask to replace it, and the unmasking sequence was added. Clips of this preview performance were included on the DVD of the 2004 film production. West End, Phantom began previews at Her Majesty's Theatre in London's West End on September 27, 1986 under the direction of Hal Prince, then opened on October 9. It was choreographed by Gillian Lynn and the sets were designed by Maria Paragraph RNSON, with lighting by Andrew Bridge. Michael Crawford starred in the title role with Sarah Brightman as Christine and Steve Barton as Raoul. The production, still playing at Her Majesty's, celebrated its 10,000th performance on October 23, 2010, with Lloyd Webber and the original Phantom, Michael Crawford, in attendance. It is the second longest running musical in West End history behind Les Misa copyright Rables, and third overall behind The Mouse Trap. A 25th anniversary stage performance was held in London on 1st and 2nd October 2011 at the Royal Albert Hall and was screened live in cinemas worldwide. The production was produced by Cameron McIntosh, directed by Lawrence Connor, musical staging and choreography by Gillian Lynn, set designed by Matt Kinley. Costume designed by Maria Paragraph RNSON, lighting designed by Patrick Woodroffe and sound designed by Mick Potter. The cast included Ramin Karimlu as the Phantom, Sierra Bogus as Christine, Hadley Fraser as Raoul, Wynne Evans as Panji, Wendy Ferguson as Carlotta, Barry James as Monsieur Fermin, Gareth Snook as Monsieur Andre, Liz Robertson as Madame Guyrie and Daisy Maywood as Meg Guyrie. Lloyd Webber and several original cast members, including Crawford and Brightman, were in attendance. A DVD and Blu-ray of the performance was released in February 2012, and it began airing in March 2012 on PBS's Great Performances television series. In March 2012 a new production directed by Lawrence Connor began a UK and Ireland tour to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the show, beginning at the Theatre Royal Plymouth and travelling to Manchester. Bristol, Dublin, Leeds, Edinburgh, Milton Keynes, Cardiff and Southampton. John Owen Jones and Earl Carpenter alternate as the Phantom with Katie Hall as Christine and Simon Bailey as Raoul. Broadway, Phantom began Broadway previews at the Majestic Theatre on January 9, 1988 and opened on January 26. Crawford, Brightman, and Barton reprised their respective roles from the West End. The production continues to play at the Majestic, where it became the first Broadway musical in history to surpass 10,000 performances on February 11, 2012. On January 26, 2013 the production celebrated its 25th anniversary with its 10,400th performance. It is, by over 3,000 performances, the longest-running show in Broadway history. Amateur Productions in 2013 the rights to perform Phantom were released to non-professional groups. CLOC Musical Theatre staged the World Amateur premiere in May 2013 at the National Theatre in Melbourne, Australia. In June 2013 Windmill Theatre Company staged the production at the Drum Theatre in Dandenong. Also in June 2013, Wellington Musical Theatre debuted the New Zealand premiere starring Chris Crow and Barbara Graham. Synopsis, Prologue on the stage of the fictional opera copyright Ra Popular in 1905, an auction of old theatrical props is underway. Lots 665, purchased by the elderly Raoul, Vicom de Chafney, is a papier mar sent car copyright music box in the shape of a monkey. He eyes it sadly, noting that its details appear exactly as she said. Lots 666 is a shattered chandelier that, the auctioneer explains, has a connection to the strange affair of the Phantom of the Opera, a mystery never fully explained. As the chandelier is uncovered, its lamps flicker to life and it magically rises over the audience to its original position in the rafters. As it ascends, the years roll back and the opera copyright Ra returns to its 1880s grandeur. 
Act I it is now 1881. As Carlotta, the opera copyright Ra's resident soprano prima donna, rehearses for that evening's performance, a backdrop collapses without warning. The Phantom. He's here. The anxious cast members whisper. The opera's new owners, Furman and Andrew Copyright, try to downplay the incident, but Carlotta refuses to continue and storms off stage. Madame Gary, the opera copyright Ra's ballet mistress, tells Furman and Andrew Copyright that Christine Dar Copyright, a Swedish chorus girl and orphan daughter of a prominent violinist, has been well taught, and could sing Carlotta's role. With cancellation of the performance their only alternative, the owners reluctantly audition Christine, and to their surprise she is equal to the challenge. Backstage after her triumphant Dow copyright but, Christine confesses to her best friend Meg that she knows her mysterious teacher only as an invisible angel of music. The opera's new patron, Raoul, the Vicomte de Chaffney, finds Christine, his old childhood playmate, in her dressing room. Christine reminisces with Raoul about the Angel of Music stories that her late father used to tell them and confides that the angel has visited her and taught her to sing. Raoul laughs at her fantasies, and invites her to dinner. He exits and a jealous phantom appears in Christine's mirror in the guise of the Angel of Music. Christine begs him to reveal himself and the phantom obliges, then guides her into a ghostly underground realm. They cross a subterranean lake to his secret lair beneath the Opa copyright Ra house. The Phantom explains that he has chosen Christine to sing his music and enchants her with his own sublime voice. Christine sees a mannequin resembling herself in a wedding dress, and when the mannequin suddenly moves, she faints. The Phantom picks her up and places her gently on a bed. As the Phantom composes music at his organ, Christine awakens to the sound of the monkey music box. She slips behind the phantom, lifts his mask, and beholds his real face. The phantom rails at her curiosity, then ruefully expresses his longing to look normala Euro, and to be loved by her. Meanwhile, inside the Opa copyright Ra house, Joseph Bukit, the Opa copyright Ra's chief stage hand a Euro, who, like Madame Gary, inexplicably knows much about the Fantoma Euro regales everyone with tales of the Opa copyright Ra ghost and his terrible Punjab lasso. Madame Gari warns Bukit to exercise restraint. In the manager's office, Madame Gari delivers a note from the Phantom. He demands that Christine replace Carlotta in the new opera, Il Muto, or there will be a terrible disaster beyond imagination. Furman and Andra copyright assure the enraged Carlotta that she will remain the star, but during her performance, the Phantom reduces her voice to a frog-like croak. A ballet interlude begins, to keep the audience entertained a euro, but a series of menacing shadows can be seen on the backdrop. Suddenly the corpse of Bukit, hanging from the Punjab lasso, drops from the rafters. Furman and Andra copyright plead for calm as the phantom's diabolical laughter is heard. In the ensuing Marla copyright e, Christine escapes with Raoul to the roof, where she tells him about her subterranean rendezvous with the phantom. Raoul is skeptical, but swears to love and to protect her always. The Phantom, who has overheard their conversation, is heartbroken. As he angrily vows revenge against Raoul, the Opa copyright Ra's mighty chandelier crashes to the stage as the curtain falls. Act 2 Six months later, in the midst of the gala masquerade ball, the Phantom, costumed as the Red Death, makes his first appearance since the chandelier disaster. He announces to the stunned guests that he has written an opera entitled Don Juan Triumphant. He demands that it be produced immediately, with Christine in the lead role, and warns of dire consequences if it is not. He seizes Christine's engagement ring and vanishes in a flash of fire and smoke. Raoul demands that Madame Gary tell him about the Phantom. She reluctantly replies that he is a brilliant musician and magician born with a terrifyingly deformed face who escaped from captivity in a traveling freak show and disappeared. During rehearsals, Raoul hatches a plan to use Don Juan Triumphant as a trap to capture the Phantom, knowing the Phantom will be sure to attend its premiere. Christine, torn between her love for Raoul and her gratitude for the Phantom's teaching, visits her father's grave, 
longing for his guidance. The Phantom appears, again under the guise of the Angel of Music. Christine nearly falls under his spell, but Raoul arrives to rescue her. The Phantom taunts Raoul, launching fiery missiles at him, until Christine begs Raoul to leave with her. Furious, the Phantom sets fire to the cemetery. Don Juan Triumphant opens with Christine and Yorbaldo Panji, the opera copyright Ra's principal tenor, singing the lead roles. During their duet, Christine suddenly realizes that she is singing not with Panji, but with the Phantom himself. He expresses his love for her and gives her his ring, but Christine rips off his mask, exposing his deformed face to the shocked audience. As Panji is found strangled to death backstage, the Phantom seizes Christine and flees the theater. An angry mob led by Meg searches the theater for the Phantom, while Madame Gairi directs Raoul to the Phantom's subterranean lair, and warns him to beware his Punjab lasso. In the lair Christine is forced to don the doll's wedding dress. Raoul arrives, but the Phantom captures him with his lasso. He tells Christine that he will free Raoul if she agrees to stay with him forever. If she refuses, Raoul will die. Christine tells the Phantom that it is his soul that is deformed, not his face, and kisses him. The Phantom, having experienced kindness and compassion for the first time, sets them both free. Christine returns the Phantom's ring to him, and he tells her he loves her. She cries, forces herself to turn away, and exits with Raoul. The Phantom, weeping, huddles on his throne and covers himself with his cape. The mob storms the lair and Meg pulls away the KP Euro, but the Phantom has vanished. Only his mask remains. Casting, original casts, the original casts of the major productions of the Phantom of the Opera, a Euro the role of Christine Dara copyright is double cast in most professional productions. The secondary actress performs the role twice a week. A Euro three roles were double cast in the original Las Vegas production, with the two actors in each pair singing alternate performances. Later, Las Vegas casting became identical to that in the Broadway production, with single casting for all characters except Christine. Notable West End replacements, Phantom, Dave Willits John Owen Jones Ramin Karim Lupita Jar Paragraph Back Simon Bowman Earl Carpenter, Christine. Claire Moore, Rebecca Kane, Mira Mornberg, Gina Beck, Rachel Barrel, Layla Ben Harris, Robin North, Meredith Braun, Raoul, a Euro Michael Ball, John Barrowman, Simon Bowman, Simon Burke, Clive Carter, Killian Donnelly, Ramin Karim, Lou Robert Meadmore, Oliver Thornton, Carlotta, a Euro Julia Goss, Margaret Priest, Shan Cothy, notable Broadway replacements, Phantom, a Euro Timothy Nolan, Steve Barton, Mark Jacoby, Davis Gaines, Thomas James O'Leary, Hugh Pinero, Howard McGillan, Gary Mao, Brad Little, John Cudia, Peter Jar, Paragraph, Back Norm, Lewis, Christine, Lisa Mana Euro Patty Konawa Rebecca Luca Rebecca Pitcher Jennifer Hopewell Sierra Bogus Raul Gary Maurer Euro Hugh Pinera Brad Little John Q Tim Martin Gleason Monsieur Andrew Copyright A Euro George Lee Andrews Musical Numbers Notes A section the Ford slash used here between two titles indicates two musical numbers about which it is difficult to distinguish when one ends and the other begins. Orchestration There are several scores. 27 piece orchestra, 13 piece orchestra, 45 piece orchestra. The Broadway production utilizes a 27 piece pit orchestra. Recordings, cast recordings have been made of the London, Austrian, and Canadian productions. The recording of the 1986 original London cast, released by Polydor Records in 1987, was released in both a single CD highlights from The Phantom of the Opera and a two CD Phantom of the Opera both of which had been certified for a platinum in the US. Phantom was also certified 3 a platinum in the UK. The Canadian cast recording went to a platinum in Canada. In Switzerland, Phantom was certified 3 a platinum and Highlights was certified to a platinum. Recordings of the Vienna cast and the Hamburg cast were certified gold and triple platinum, respectively, in Germany. The original album recording has sold an alleged 24 million copies worldwide.
A live recording of The Phantom of the Opera at the Royal Albert Hall was released in the UK on November 15, 2011 and subsequently in the US and Canada on February 7, 2012, along with Blu-ray and DVD videos, and a collector's box set of the Royal Albert Concert, the original cast recording, and the sequel, Love Never Dies. Certifications Allegations of plagiarism in 1987 the heirs of Giacomo Puccini charged in a lawsuit at the climactic phrase in music of the night closely resembled a similar phrase in the sequence Quello che tacit from Puccini's opera Girl of the Golden West. The litigation was settled out of court for an undisclosed amount. In 1990 a Baltimore songwriter named Ray Rep filed a lawsuit alleging that the title song from Phantom was based on a song that he wrote in 1978 called Till You. After eight years of litigation a euro including an unsuccessful countersuit by Lloyd Webber claiming that Tilly was itself a plagiarism of Close Every Door from Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat a euro the jury found in Lloyd Webber's favor. Roger Waters has repeatedly claimed in interviews that the signature descending ascending half-tone chord progression from Phantom's title song was plagiarized from the bass line of a track on the Pink Floyd 1971 album medal called Echoes. He has never taken any legal action, but he did add an insulting reference to Lloyd Webber in his song It's a Miracle We Cower in Our Shelters with Our Hands Over Our Ears Lloyd Webber's awful stuff runs for years and years and years an earthquake hits the theatre but the operetta lingers then the piano lid comes down and breaks his fucking fingers. Slash It's a Miracle. Other productions, Phantom has been translated into several languages and produced in over 28 countries on six continents. With only the exception of Hungary, Poland, New Zealand, and the 25th anniversary UK and US tours, these productions have all been clones, using the original staging, direction, sets, and costume concepts. International productions include the following Argentina The Argentine production premiere read in March 2009 at Buenos Aires Teatro Opera and closed November 29, 2009, after 194 performances. Australia, 1990 Euro 1998, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, and Perth. 2007 Euro 2009, Melbourne, Brisbane, Sydney, Auckland, Perth and Adelaide, both starring Anthony Wallow. Marina Pryor starred as Christine in the original production. In the original Australian production, Rob Guest later took over the title role. The final leg of the recent tour was staged in Adelaide in an arena format featuring giant screens on either side of the stage that presented footage shot simultaneously with the performance. 2013, Canberra starring Michael Cormick with Julie Lee Goodwin starring as Christine from 9 Euro August 23, 2013. Austria, the German language production premiered at the Theatre and Erwin in December 1988. Belgium, the Dutch production was performed in Stad Schoelberg Antwerp and Stad Schoelberg Antwerp and in Antwerp. Brazil, Zar Pound o Paulo, Premier Red at Teatro Abril in April 2005. Canada, the Canadian production of Phantom ran for over 10 years in Toronto, Ontario at the Pantages Theatre, ending abruptly when Livent collapsed. The Music Box Tour played dates across Canada in 2006 a Euro 2007 including Calgary. Vancouver, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Toronto, Saskatoon and Ottawa. Canadian International Touring Company, March 11, 1991 AA Euro October 1995 toured Canada, Hawaii, Alaska, Hong Kong and Singapore, China. The Shanghai production played 97 performances at the Shanghai Grand Theatre. The World Tour is currently having their sixth season at the Culture Plaza Theatre at Shanghai Culture Square from December 3, 2013 to January 26, 2014. Denmark, Det Nye Theatre, Copenhagen, Finland, will premiere in Helsinki in 2015 as a Finnish national opera production in original language. Germany, Das Phantom der Oper opened at the Stage Ne Flora Theatre, Hamburg from 1990 to 2001. The Palladium Theatre in Stuttgart from 2002 to 2004, and at the Colosseum Theatre in Essen from 2005 to 2007. A second Hamburg production is scheduled in December 2013 at the Stage Theatre Ne Flora. Hong Kong, 
first tour in a Euro at the Hong Kong Cultural Center Grand Theatre June to October 1995. Second tour in a Euro July to August 2006 at the Hong Kong Cultural Center Grand Theatre. Hungary, Marda CH Theatre, Budapest. This production, which began in 2003, was the first to modify the original staging with new sets, costumes and direction. The 500th performance on September 20, 2007 featured four successive sets of casts. Japan, Shiki Productions produced the show in 1988, the first production performed in a language other than English. The production celebrated its 25th anniversary on April 29, 2013 and finished its run at the Dentsushiki Yumi Theater in Tokyo on June 15. Mexico, Mexico City, premiered at Teatro Alameda, Centro Cultural Telmex in December 1999. Netherlands, at the Circus Theater in Scheveningen. More than 1,000 performances with Henk Pote as the Phantom. New Zealand, opened at the Aletia Center in Auckland in 1997 and at the Civic, The Edge Auckland in 2008. A local production opened on June 13 at the St. James Theatre in Wellington and closed on July 16, 2013. Philippines, the world tour had its second season from August until October 2012 at the Tangha Lang Nikana Abelado of the Tangha Lang Pambansa in the Cultural Center of the Philippines, featuring sets and several cast members from the 2011 a Euro 2012 South African tour. Poland, Warsaw production premiered in March 2008 at Tiet Musici Roma, featuring original sets, costumes, and direction. Closed June 2010. Singapore, first tour at the Kalang Theatre from February 26, 1995 to May 20, 1995, second tour at the Esplanade, Theatres on the Bay from March 23, 2007 to May 20, 2007. The World Tour had their fifth season from July 16 to September 1, 2013 at the Grand Theatre, Marina Bay Sands. South Africa, opened in 2004 at the Opera House, Artscape Theatre Centre in Cape Town and at the South African State Theatre in Pretoria. A 2011-2012 South African tour of the show commenced at the Artscape Theatre in Cape Town and at the Teatro at Monte Cassino in Johannesburg. South Korea, a Korean-language production opened in 2001 at the LG Arts Centre in Seoul and in 2009 at Charlotte Theatre in Seoul. The World Tour visited in 2005 at the Opera House, Seoul Arts Centre in Seoul. In December 2012. The World Tour had their third season at the Blue Square Music Hall in Seoul for the Broadway production's 25th anniversary celebration using sets from the 2011 a Euro 2012 South African tour featuring several cast members who performed in Manila. Closed on March 2013. The World Tour returned to South Korea in Daegu with the Daegu Arts Center K Myung. Opened February 27, 2014. Spain, Madrid. Premiered at Teatro Lope de Vega on September 4, 2002. Sweden, 1989 Euro 1995, Eskar Seaton, Stockholm. More than 1,000 performances. Starring Michael Samuelson as The Phantom. Switzerland, performed in both English and German at the musical theatre Mess Basel in Switzerland for over a year in 1996 Euro 1997. Taiwan began on January 18, 2006 at National Theatre and Concert Hall in July 2009 at Taipei Arena, with Brad Little as the Phantom. The World Tour will return to Taiwan on September 11, 2014 at the Taipei Arena. Thailand, the World Tour had their fourth season at the Muang Tara Chadalai Theatre in Bangkok from May 7 to June 9, 2013. United States, Los Angeles, San Francisco a U.S. national tour commenced in 1991 in Los Angeles, and closed on October 31, 2010 at the Pantages Theatre in Hollywood, California, after nearly two decades. The closing night performance was attended by many former cast and crew members, including Andrew Lloyd Webber and Sarah Brightman. Feature film version, a film version, directed by Joel Schumacher and starring Gerard Butler as The Phantom, Emmy Rossum as Christine. Patrick Wilson as Raoul, Minnie Driver as Carlotta, 
and Miranda Richardson as Madame Gary opened in limited release on December 22, 2004 in the U.S. and later a nationwide release on January 21, 2005. Phantom, The Las Vegas Spectacular an edited production renamed Phantom a Euro The Las Vegas Spectacular opened June 24, 2006 at the Venetian Resort Hotel Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, in a theater built specifically for the show to resemble the Opa copyright Raganier in Paris. The production ran 95 minutes with no intermission, and was directed and choreographed by Harold Prince and Gillian Lynn, with scenic designs by David Rockwell. The show featured updated technology and effects, including a re-engineered chandelier capable of reassembling in mid-air during the overture while the entire interior of the venue returned to its 1880s halcyon days. Almost 45 minutes worth of material was eliminated, such as the Don Juan triumphant rehearsal. Poor fool, he makes me laugh, and the point of no return was significantly shortened. Other changes resembled those in the 2004 film, such as staging the chandelier crash at the plot's climax rather than mid-story. The Las Vegas production closed on September 2, 2012. Copyright release In 2011 the really useful group released certain rights to the play in celebration of its 25th anniversary. In April 2011 Central High School in Knoxville, Tennessee became the first school to perform Phantom under the new rights. Awards and nominations Original London Production, Original Broadway Production, Sequel The sequel to Phantom, written by Lloyd Webber, Glenn Slater and Ben Elton with lyrics by Slater, is called Love Never Dies. It was loosely adapted from the 1999 novel The Phantom of Manhattan by Frederick Forsyth in collaboration with Lloyd Webber. Set in 1907, Christine is invited to perform at Phantasma, a new attraction at Coney Island, by an anonymous impresario. With her husband Raoul and son Gustav in tow she journeys to Brooklyn, unaware that it is the Phantom who has arranged her appearance at the popular beach resort. The original production was directed by Jack O'Brien and choreographed by Jerry Mitchell with set and costume designs by Bob Crowley, and opened at the Adelphi Theatre in the West End on March 9, 2010. Though it ran for over 17 months and closed on August 27, 2011, the production received mixed reviews. A scheduled Broadway opening in November 2010 was postponed until spring 2011 and later cancelled. A revamped Australian production, starring Ben Lewis and Anna Obin, opened May 21, 2011 at the Regent Theatre in Melbourne to more favourable notices. After the Melbourne run ended on December 12, 2011 the production moved to the Capitol Theatre in Sydney where it played from January to April 2012. See also, Phantom, List of best-selling albums in New Zealand, List of best-selling albums worldwide, Love Never Dies, Notes. External links, Official website, The Phantom of the Opera at Playbill Vault, The Phantom of the Opera at the Internet Broadway Database, The Phantom of the Opera.